Welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa Natash. Thank you so much for watching my video. Today's video is going to be all about drugstore makeup, okay? And I'm going to be doing uh, ombre lip, okay? <laughs> so stay tuned. Everything is from a drugstore. The only thing that I didn't get to use from a drugstore because I thought, thought that it wasn't going to complement the look with my lashes. So remember to like, share, subscribe, and click on that bell so you get alerts whenever I upload my videos. Thanks again to all my subscribers and to my new subscribers. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, guys, let's get started. So the first um, product I'm going to be using from the uh, drugstore is um, Olay Total Effects. I'm going to use this to moisturize. And this is actually the first um, skincare regimen I have ever used in my entire life. <laughs> My mom, this is her favorite, and to this day she still uses it. Olay is, you can't go wrong with Olay. And as you can see, I already went in and I did my brows, because those can take a little bit to get done. So, and what I used for my brows is this my handy dandy, the same type um, of brow liner I, I've been using for years, and it's just the NYX brow pencil in ash brown this one here so that's what I use for my brows and to outline my brows or um, define them I use the the elf um, HD primer not primer concealer I am going to apply some lip uh, gloss as well as plumper this one is um, pixie by Petra that's what it looks like and uh, it's also a drugstore okay so everything I'll be using is um, from the, the drugstore. So what I'm going to do next is to prime my face. And I do not have a drugstore primer. I am going to just spray my face with some um, setting spray. And this is a hard candy and it's a matte finish. Ooh. So I'm going to be doing a look from this palette it's absolutely very pretty ratty or ratty moonlight and this is a highlight palette you know this is what it looks like and it has some beautiful highlights so there's two parts in this you have this area and she has a little note right here which is very cute and then you close it and open the other side make sure i get it oops and then you have these and these are all um, highlighters. So they're pretty nice. And I'm going to go in with, let's take this sticky off, with the color called, it has a little green um, shimmer to it. It's called Lotho, Lothorine or Lothorine. I'm not sure, sure how it's pronounced. And it's going to be this color here. Going with that first. And I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to use that as my base. It does have a little green tinge to it. I'm going for green and browns today. I'm going to all over my lid. Just want a little shimmer. And it's it's very, very light, guys. Put a little more right here. And go here. And, um... You know, we all, we all know when it comes to makeup, you go in for a color and you don't like it, you just add something else to it or you just clean it off. So, um, this looks pretty, pretty, pretty much what I was looking for. Something light and something shimmer. You can hardly see it, but it's there. I'm going to the other eye now and do the same thing. And I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and just blend that all, all over my eye. You can see the shimmer look. See, it's a little shimmery. Oh, my nose is itchy. Yeah, so, I mean, guys, this, I mean, starting this YouTube channel, this has been great. I mean, I thank you so much for your support, the little subscribers that I have. Thank you. And I'm waiting for you guys to subscribe. Now stop watching the video and not subscribe. You need to just click that button. Just do that. Please, just do that. And um, 
I'm just going to continue posting videos and, you know, eventually I will hit the mark that I want to hit. And even when I hit it, I'm just going to continue because makeup is just like, oh, I just love it. I love it so much. Okay. I'm just going to blend this one out. Um, make sure you don't be shy. Make some mistakes and you notice, you know, because sometimes, you know, of course, sometimes I don't realize that you just let me know too. Okay, so we got all like shimmer going on over these eyes now. Look at those. Now I'm going to go in with a darker color and I'm going to get a smaller brush. And what I'm going to go in with is the one car called Screen. Normally I don't do greens, you know, I like to ex explore, experiment. Um, it's called per Pergola. And it's this one here. So I'm going to go in into the crease with that one. See how it looks. I'm going to go in with an angle brush. It doesn't have to be an angle brush. I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm going to take some of that product, the green, the dark green underneath my eyes, the ones that I the one that I just used. So I'm going to dip into it a little bit, knock it off, and I'm just going to go under here. It's not really dark green, honestly. I'm going to get it right here in the corner. So I'm going to take that fluffy brush again and just blend right here out. I'm going to go in, it's called Grace. I'm going to take some of the product up on my brush. I'm just going to pat that color right here. Just pat it on. Just to get a little brown here, I'm gonna take it all the way up here. Just want it here to be a little darker. I always like how brown and green look together. Take it up. Taking it a little high up to the brow bone. Just like so. And then take a different fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend that out. here and I'm gonna go in with the outer baby the brown knock it off and I'm gonna go below my lower lid right here with some tapping lotion right over that green I just is gonna darken it up a little bit I'm going to take a small brush, clean it off, it's dirty like mine, and I'm going to go in with a light color, and this one is called Angel. Take that, and I'm going to put right below the brow, all the way over, like that. Let me just blend that out. And that would just highlight your brow a little more. Kind of give you a little highlight up there as well. So you can, now I'm looking at it, I can definitely use that product as a highlighter. And since I did not want it to highlight so much up there, I'm just gonna take my blending brush and kind of like go over it a little bit. So I will definitely be using that shadow as a highlighter because it's pretty good with highlighting. <clears throat> Excuse me. Eyes are almost finished. I'm just going to go ahead and do my liner. And what I'm going to be using, it's this is the L'Oreal um, gel liner, and it's in um, black as black. And I'm going to be doing a, a wing liner. This is my go-to. I love doing wing liners. 
And now I'm gonna apply some lashes and I'm gonna be putting on some mascara first. And this is the L'Oreal um, mascara. So I'm gonna take some, take the, the wand, I'm just gonna put, clean it off, like squeeze my napkin on it because I don't want so much product. And I'm just gonna put some mascara on. All right, so I'm gonna use Edemia. They're not from the drugstore, so this is the only thing that I'm going to be using that's not from the drugstore. And the only reason why, because the ones I have from the drugstore, they're just too, there's too um, light, they're too thin. So now I am going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. So I got this drugstore foundation is L'Oreal, L'Oreal, and it's True Match, and um, the color I got was W8. This is what I got and um it looks like so and it was i was i think i was kind of lucky it looks like it matched my skin i'm always off with this that's why i like to go to like macy's or so forth and let them do their matching and you know get my my color so let's see if if i did a good job or not it kind of looked like it's a little too dark honestly but just a little dark but we'll see so what i'm gonna do is I have my beauty blender ready um, I'm going to just dip it on my finger and just put it on let's see and this is what it looks like it looks like it would be able to match but let's see hmm it looks fine and I think it's supposed to be it's warm and super blendable makeup um, didn't say if it's full coverage or not, but I assume it is. I'm just gonna go with just this, this amount because I'm not sure what's gonna happen if it's too dark. I'm probably just gonna go in with my regular foundation and put over it and see if I could make it look okay. So here goes. Hmm. It does not look like it's too dark to me. I think I need a little more. So, oops, I'm gonna put some right here, and then my nose, and then my chin. That should do it. If I need more, I'll just add more. I don't know, I think it, the thing is my face, everybody's face is lighter, you know, um, because of the products we use on our face. But this color definitely blend with my shoulder, and I have a tan on my shoulder, you know, so, you know, it's definitely, I don't think it's too dark because my face was a little lighter anyway. I think it, it matches my complexion a lot better, actually. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer and this is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I got this at the, um, the drugstore as well. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Oops. And I'm just gonna blend. And this is not too much makeup, guys. I did a makeup look, uh, YouTube makeup versus um, what you normally use. And this is definitely something that I will do. I'm going to set my face and I'll be using the um, NYX mineral oil not mineral oil <laughs> anyway x mineral set it and don't fret it set it and don't fret it so i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of that and it's not white if you notice it's so um my complexion is like medium brown and i'm gonna go in with honestly uh if i can get it i'm gonna go in with my concealer brush and it's just the brush here I'm gonna take a little bit up, knock it off, and just press it on. The powder I'm gonna be using is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. And I love this. This is a, a really good powder and I'm in the shade Rich Tan and it's 80. And I'm gonna put that over areas that I didn't put that setting powder, like here. Let that sit for a little bit. 
I guess what I forgot to do guys but I guess I can still do it I forgot to put a little contour on so I'm gonna go in with my contour palette and this is the elf palette contour palette and I'm gonna be using this color here Now I'm going to go in with my bronzer and it's the L'Oreal Paris bronzer and I this is called La Terra. Now you can just use bronzer and that's it. This this bronzer honestly it's like it's like my shade. So it's kind of hard to see it. It's kind of hard to see it. So then I still, you know, I like to take um, my e.l.f. blush you can buy this amazing looking highlighter the Arati Sunlight Arati Sunlight I apologize if I mispronounce her name I'm going to go in with the one called Fairy Lights I'm going to take the little brush clean it off and it's so pretty and here it goes and just wet that over either. Take it under my eye, right to the side, not under my eye, just to the outer corner right here. And blend that out a little bit. Okay, now, since we just highlight, I'm gonna take my powder, put that palette away, and the powder is the same Maybelline Stay, and I'm just gonna go over what I just did with the highlight, because I, I highlight, but I still like to just tone down the highlight so right and I'm gonna go over with my powder brush I dip it in the powder here and just go over my lips with that okay like so hmm. feel like that and then I'm going to line my lips the shade of lipstick I have, I somehow do not have a liner that matches it. So I'm going to go over, I'm going to go in with NYX. Okay, so the lipstick I'm going to be using is the NYX um, lipstick and it's called, um, it's, number, it's called Girl By and this is what it looks like. I'm going to use this to line my lips. Roll up to this like so and take it from the side. Okay, so now I'm gonna be applying the Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color. And this is um, Remmel. This is Remmel, okay? So that's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna put it right in the middle part of my lip here, like so. For what I'm going for, I do want the outer part of my lip to be a little darker. So I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. Okay, so now I am actually done. So I'm going to, just going to spray much better. Spray some of the Hard Candy um, Setting Spray. This one here that I used before and just set all of that. And there it is. I am doing. Done, done, done. What do you think, guys? I love it. Love this green, and I, I am looking forward to going out with this look. COVID, come on, you need to step. Girl needs to go out and have some drinks. <laughs> Thanks again so much, guys, for watching my video. I really appreciate your support. Thanks to my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome to my new subscribers. That's gonna be you. Welcome. Keep watching my videos. I will see you in my next video, guys. Mwah.